Well, thousands of tech journalists are gathered in Las Vegas this week for the Consumer Electronics Show to see what new tech products will be announced for the upcoming year. Our gadget guy, Mike Yanni, is there, but he's taken some time to do some exploring off the show floor. He's going behind the scenes to see the technology that runs the city and its attractions on the Strip. And today, he's got a unique look at the tech used to run the fountains of the Bellagio. He shows us why it takes an army of engineers to keep it running. They mesmerize and amaze. More than 1,200 fountains dance to music on an 8.5-acre lake in the middle of the Nevada desert. The fountains of Bellagio are a spectacle and a marvel of technology. Just out of the public's view is something the employees here at the Bellagio refer to as the Bat Cave. This is one of the entrances into the behind-the-scenes area of the fountains of Bellagio. And today, we have an all-access pass. Follow me. Hidden amongst the pumps, the pipes, and the giant air compressors, you'll find the workshop, where we get our first look at the fountains, or as the techs here call them, shooters. Holds about uh, seven gallons of water, and we put about 120 PSI into the bottom uh, of the shooter from this tank right here. We release that air pressure, it ejects the water through the top, it'll shoot a column of water about 120 feet. Those are the minis. The super shooters are even larger, shooting water 220 feet into the air. And then there's these bad boys, the extreme shooters. So powerful, it takes an air tank the size of a bus to provide enough pressure to keep them going. The extreme shooters can shoot 450 to 460 feet. That's higher than the Bellagio. They can be very dangerous. No one's allowed to get near those uh, unless they're with us. Uh, and we have the whole place cordoned off with uh, personnel. Those would, uh, they could break your bones uh, if they took a direct shot from one of those. But what draws the most attention are the oarsmen, the fountains that pivot and sway, programmed to spray water with the music. That's the plug-in. That's the plug-in right there, yeah. <laughs> also, if we have to uh, have data, and we have to talk to it. So this is a data cable, and this is tied into it, so we can talk to these individually or as a group. That's, and, a, uh, that's a little bit bigger than an Ethernet cable. It takes a team of 30 engineers working 20 hours a day, 365 days a year, to keep the show going. The cold water is harsh on the equipment. Corrosion is a problem. And when divers can't fix the fountains in the lake, they haul them in the workshop for a closer look. A big part of the maintenance here at the Fountains of Bellagio is dealing with all the stuff that's thrown into the water. We've got everything from undergarments to false teeth and high heels and some stuff we can't even talk about. But there's also a lot of this, coins. About $30,000 worth of coins are tossed into the fountains each and every year. That's about $82 a day. And a lot of it's American, there's even some Canadian back here. All of it is cleaned and then given away to charity. So we've seen the equipment, the hardware behind the show. Now it's time to check out the brains of the show. I've just spent the last 10 minutes walking through a secret passage through the Bellagio and up a 20-foot ladder here into what's called show control. This is where the magic happens. It's a place very few members of the public have stepped foot in. This is where the monitoring takes place. Wind is calculated. If it gets too high, the show is either cancelled or scaled back. The fountains can produce 5,000 cubic feet of fog per second. If the controller isn't careful, they can sock in the strip. We have about a 40 different individual shows. This computer controls it all. The choreography, the song selection. Once the playlist is loaded, it's time to hit start. The green button. There, there's an actual button that you can push. That that one right there. Ready to go. You press that green button and the show will start. That's tempting. Can can I do it? I guess so. Really? Yes. Go ahead. And here we go on the screen. <laughs> Roll up to the first to show. Start the show. <laughs> And that's when it hits you. As you watch the fountains, you forget about the technology, the behind the scenes, and you become immersed. I did that. And at night, even more brilliance. Once you see it, you understand why this has become a gem on the strip. Like everything here in Las Vegas, the fountains of Bellagio are ever-changing. New songs are continuously being added, as is new technology. Staff here at the Bellagio are already researching and testing out the next generation shooters and fountains. So in the next couple of years, you can see a very different show here on the Strip. For Breakfast Television, I'm Mike Yanni. Wow. Super cool. What those extreme shooters, Mike was saying, can shoot 
higher than the Bellagio Hotel. Yeah, it's powerful. No kidding. Uh, by the way, Mike Yanni is going to be live on our show every day this week at 6.50 in the morning, 6.50 after the Consumer Electronics Show. Tomorrow, Mike will show us the tech behind the Mirage Volcano.